Namaste, beautiful brothers and sisters. It's been a long time. Hasn't it been a long time since I went live? So we'll just wait for a few people um, to join us. And um, yeah, we'll just wait for a few people. So welcome to everyone on Instagram. Welcome to everyone on YouTube. It's so amazing to be with you all. And um, happy 3-3. It's, it's an amazing day, isn't it? Can you feel it? Something really, really huge has shifted. But I'm just gonna, just before I start, you know, sharing about that, let's just wait for a few um, brothers and sisters to join us. So I think what I'll do is I'll just play a little song while we're waiting. Hello, everybody. Let's share this video so that other people can, you know, like come into these three three energies it's really really auspicious like this is a very very powerful portal date as i'm sure all of you um in this community are well aware of that and it feels like it's an opening and um it feels very much connected to what is going on astrologically at the moment and um I was going to play a song but quite a lot of people have joined us i will play a song at some point but maybe not now this is just an opportunity for us to share this video and let people know about this portal date there are probably people in your community that don't really even know like what is a portal date like what why is this significant the reason why this is significant is because we have all made an agreement on some level in our pre-birth state that these numbers these number sequences are going to activate and stimulate our DNA and so our DNA when we incarnate it's it's a bit like a pine cone that's closed and we go on this ascension journey and it and it like it opens up the pine cone and this is like our DNA and this is also our pineal gland and so what is going on at the moment is that we're stepping into a, a new vibration. And so this is obviously connected to the year um, where we're at on our evolutionary, collective evolutionary cycle. It's 2023. We've come out of 2022. We're now in 2023. And if you follow a lot of the sort of well-known truthers online, they've all been talking about March 2023. And I don't I don't really follow them anymore. I just get I just people just sort of like feed it back to me um, about what people have been saying. But I have been looking into the astrology and like we've got some really big shifts going on um, astrologically at the moment, particularly with Saturn and particularly with Pluto. And they are moving. Um, I believe that they're both moving into Aquarius. Someone can just correct me if I'm wrong. But um, it, it must be that Pluto could be retrograde in um, Aquarius because I think it stays in Capricorn for quite a long time. But, it, you know, who knows? It, it, it might just have moved into Aquarius. I know Saturn is in Aquarius now. And so um, it, it's moved. And so this means that um, the sort of like the the tapestry of the vibration is shifting so we've gone from it feels like it's been quite hard I don't know if anyone else also has had that experience but my personal experience has been that 2023 has been quite challenging even though I went to India even though it was very amazing um it has felt quite heavy the energy does anyone else has anyone else felt that it's felt like sort of like trying to, you know, get motivated, stay inspired. And it's felt like just kind of been moving through this sort of sticky molasses. That's what I felt like. And I know that the universe will often um, show me what is going on within the collective through my own experience. But obviously that relates to all of us. And I woke up this morning with a profound shift and I just felt like there was this molasses energy is is gone. And I believe it is connected to the astrology that is going on at the moment, which is all aligning with this very, very powerful and important 3-3 portal. So this is a sacred portal day and 
you know, there are many, many reasons why these numbers are significant. And I speak about this quite a lot in my book, Twin Flames in the Event, the um, the importance and the significance of, of portal numbers such as 1111, 2233, 1234, 6633. All these numbers, when we are in, a, in alignment with those numbers, whether we see them, whether they're part of our phone number, whether we just keep seeing it on the clock what it is 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 that all that exists is the is the zero point field all that exists is the present moment and our journey is is ultimately to arrive home and anchor in the present moment so you could argue that time doesn't really exi exist all that exists is the eternal moment of now but we are experiencing duality you know, we signed up for the sine wave, which is all about duality, which is like, you know, it's like the, the wave goes up and then the wave goes down. And it's like that. That's what we've signed up for. And so within unity consciousness, we are having the experience of duality. And that means that we are having the experience of time within the truth of no time. We are having a temporal experience of time. And so what my guides have told me about time is that truthfully, all that exists is the zero point field. All that exists is the present moment of now. But we have all made agreements that certain number patternings are going to hold spiritual significance for us. So in our divine, godly state of consciousness, while sat at the feet of Mother, Father, God, We've all curated this reality to um, to trigger our awakening. And so numbers are used as a tool. They are an awakening tool. And so when we align ourselves with these numbers, they it's, it's kind of like the, the pattern sort of wakes us up out of our our deep, deep spiritual slumber. And it starts reminding us that synchronicity exists, the fairy tale exists, magic exists. This is not this is not the mundane world that the old controllers have tried to enforce upon us. When we see number sequences and stuff like that, they're triggering us. They're triggering us to remember our divinity. They're triggering us to remember our soul consciousness. They're triggering us to remember who we truly, truly are beyond this temporary form you are an eternal soul i am an eternal soul but we all incarnate into this realm forgetting that do you know what i mean so these numbers so so when we're sat at the feet of mother father god and we're planning our incarnation if if we have really really um earned the right to ascend because it's very much connected to your karma for your past lives and you earn the right to experience your ascension and so if you are sat at the feet of Mother, Father, God, and you, you know, we will have made these agreements that these number patterns and these number configurations are going to awaken us. They're going to awaken us to our divinity. They're going to awaken us to the truth that all that exists is unity consciousness. So how does this relate to the 3-3? Three, three? This is a very, very powerful number portal. It's a very significant numerological portal date. And it's very, very auspicious to be um, aware of this date. And it's very, very auspicious to be invited to um, focus on yourself, focus on your expansion, focus on your spiritual path on days like this. It means that you are not in that timeline of just being asleep, comatosed to your divinity. You are on the path of spiritual awakening. This is why it is very, very auspicious. Now, we have also made agreements in our pre-birth state that these portal dates will, um, that there will be an intensity, there will be a spiritual intensity whether that's from the astrological alignments, whether that's just from the consciousness of the brothers and sisters that are aware of this. But we have made an agreement that these dates are going to hold a potency for us. And so it is a, an exquisitely auspicious um, invitation to, to be invited to participate in ceremonies on days like this. It is exquisitely auspicious for you to hold a ceremony, for you to have a gathering, for you to invite your friends. Hi, Anne. 
for you to say, come, come guys, let, let's really honour these powerful portal energies by gathering together, by meditating, by praying, by understanding that these days are heightened. Like we know that the cabal, we know that the ex-controllers, they use dates, they use the solstice, they use... Um, Beltane in bulk they'll use the 222 portal they'll use the the 11 11 portal this is why the, the the memorial day is on the 11 11 because they know it, that pattern holds such an incredible potency and so we are inverting the the controllers uh, intentions for these days because these days would have been used for very very heinous acts particularly towards children particularly in the realm of sacrifice and stuff like that it's very 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 disgusting uh, you know you don't need me to say that but what we have to do as awakened humanity we are taking our power back because a lot of these masons, a lot of these controllers, whatever you want to call them, they they think humanity is just stupid. They just think we're just dog eaters. We're just we're just stupid sheep, and we don't have the right to understand about these portal dates. They just think, oh, we're just stupid little girls, little little boys. We shouldn't know about this. Leave that to the wise mystics and the elders. You see, but not anymore this is where we come in we are the ground crew and we are taking back our world brothers and sisters and particularly by harnessing the energy of these very very important portal dates so it's highly recommended that you attend a ceremony on a day like this because there will be many many people that are gathering together i know many facilitators that are hosting these amazing ceremonies today but if that isn't an alignment for you you sit and meditate sit bring your children forward and just say today we're going to focus we're going to focus on peace we're going to focus on the vibration of peace, knowing that we collectively have made an agreement that these days are going to be amplified. And so whatever it is that we experience on these days is going to be amplified, is going to enable the liberation of more of our brothers and sisters, because that is what it's all about. It's like we all gather together in the name of remembrance, in the name of God. And then we come together and it's like, remember, this is a frequency universe. And so when we, when we all come together, we send out a collective tone. That's what happens. We send out a collective tone and it's like a, it's a vibratory resonance field. And then all those around are going to have the opportunity to tap into that resonance field, you see. So it is a, an extraordinary gift of generosity for you to put aside your secular activities today, your secular um, desires to maybe binge watch a Netflix series. This is not the day to do that, guys. This is not the day to do that. That. This is the day to be focused on your inner peace. This is, this is the day to really, really meet your true beautiful self and to do some mirror work. If there's some agitation in your mind, this would be a, a beautiful day to, to, to resolve that to resolve that, you know, so that you can align on this day with peace. This is what it's all about. So please share this video, brothers and sisters. There are so many people that would benefit so much from understanding about these portal dates because it, it, it seems arbitrary. It seems like, well, what are you going on about these portal dates? Who cares? But there's very, very deeply important spiritual significance to these portal dates. And most people will be, under, well, they'll be, they'll be wanting to understand what is it. So please share this video. Um, I'm going to offer a free place to um, someone that shares this video. I'm going to be sending you the PDF with the Zoom link to join the ceremony later. Now, I just want to just speak about what we're going to be focusing on today. I haven't really been doing live videos. I've been having my own in, in quite intense journey in India. Hi, Anne, darling. I've been having my really intense, you know, experience in India. I haven't really... Um, 
been super present online. I'm, I'm very, very much aware of that. But I have been clocking what has been going on. And in my country at the moment, there is um, a, a, a despicably dark agenda to implement and enforce um, concentration camps that are called 15 minute cities. These are basically another word for saying this is like a sort of like posh, politically correct way of saying concentration camp, you know, because they're setting these like um, these sort of barricades all around the city. And they're saying, uh, if you need to go beyond that barricade, you need to get written permission. You need to get a written permission to go for a little girl to go and see her friend who lives on the other side of the barrier. Come on, come on. Like, we have to stop this. We have to stop this. They are trying their luck with humanity, guys. They're basically going, oh, we're just going to do something really crazy. But humanity's so asleep. They're just so lost in their binge episodes of Netflix. They, they're, not, they're not going to um, sort of, like, resist this. You know, we have to, but we don't resist it in the old school way. We resist it in a spiritual way by bring, bringing in a brand new frequency that is going to dispel the lower frequency. This is a, this is a control frequency and it cannot be allowed to continue. We have to nip it in the bud, just like we did with all the COVID rules. Every single time we did a transmission, something shifted with COVID. Honest to God, we were like, okay, we're going to open up the borders now. Boom, two days later, all the borders opened. We were like, we're going to, we're going to get rid of this digital identity nonsense. Boom, in, in the House of Commons, they were like, oh no, we're not going to do the digital, the digital ID nonsense. We have so much power. This is, we are their greatest fear. Awake humanity is the ex-controllers, the reptilian controllers. This is their greatest fear because they know that we are coming from love and love is infinitely more powerful than fear. They're coming from that lower timeline, you see? They want, to, they want fear, they want control. But, but we're not about that, we're about love. And so we're going to be implementing the vibration of love, of divine resolution. But we can't do this alone. It's like me just there with a few people on Zoom. That's not good enough, guys. We all need to come together. They're trialling this out in Oxford. They're trialling it out in Kent. This is where my son's girlfriend goes to university in Canterbury. They're trialling it there. They're trialling it in Canada. They're trialling it in New Zealand. We have to get off our bums now and we have to we have to say no we are not having this this is our world this is our beautiful garden of eden that that mother earth created for us and father son created for us this is our world and you can just step aside with your fear and control agenda this is not going to work but it is going to work if people don't stand up and come together and use the potency of these extremely powerful portal dates such as this. This is the 3-3 three, three portal. This is next level. The entire basis of the Godhead is based upon the Trinity. You've got Brahma, Shiva, Vishnu. You know, you've got in, in all the traditions, you find the Trinity, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the Mother, the Father, the Christ Sophia child. The God is one, but God is also split into a Trinity. And so what this is showing us is that this is a powerful portal date. We are working with the vibration of the Trinity, brothers and sisters. You see, please share this video, guys. Like loads of new people have joined. Share this video so that you people in your community will get to hear this message. It's very, very important because what they, they want everyone to, to not be available for this work. They want everyone to be worried about fashion and worried about their looks and worried about um, what net what um, other you know box set series they're about to watch. They want people watching stupid things. Do you know what I mean? They don't want people to rise. They don't want every single thing about the, the old controller's agenda is based upon and anchored on the fact that it will work due to humanity's ignorance, due to the immaturity of humanity, due to the fact that give them bread and circuses, they will never revolt. Well, what are the bread and circuses? Netflix, series, Get, getting getting lost in secular activities, worrying about what you look like, worrying about um, just superficial things that don't mean anything.
We are the guardians of this world for our children. Like what my article said the other day, everything that we do is for the children. We must do this for the children. Are you happy to sit there and, and let, let this world be taken over by psychopaths for, for, for our children? No, no, not on my watch, not on your watch. But we have to rise, we have to come together. You've got to remember guys, this is their greatest fear. Their greatest fear is humanity coming together. They sit there and, and they quiver in their boots at the thought of, um, of humanity actually coming together in, in enlightened consciousness. Do you know what I mean? Like this is their absolutely their worst fear. Because it's like what the Bible says, when two or more are gathered in my name, that is when miracles happen. And they know that. So if you don't want to come to my ceremony, which is taking place at eight minutes past 8 p.m. UK time, it's now 10 to 4 in the UK. So just in about four hours, 20 minutes from now, organise your own ceremony or, or just sit with your fire, sit with nature, sit on your meditation mat and pray. But don't pray like bringing your begging bowl to God. That's not how we pray. We pray by, like, let me, let me remind you of how we pray. Many years ago, there was a drought in, in South America. They didn't have the rain for many, many months. All the villagers got together and they said, we must all come to the, to the town center to pray for the rain. Let's all meet on Sunday to pray for the rain. It was Sunday afternoon, all the villagers got to the town square and they all got on their knees and they started begging God to send them the rain. There was this one little boy and he arrived there and he opened up his umbrella and then the heavens opened. This is how we pray. We pray by expecting, standing in the assurity and the expectation of that which our heart knows to be right, that, that it is happening. We don't pray begging for God because if we go, oh, please don't do this, God, oh, please don't do that, then that's coming from a lack of vibration. And this universe is all based on vibration. And so we have to have faith. We move into it of like, this isn't happening. This isn't happening. This beautiful, beautiful timeline of freedom, of liberation, of heaven on earth for our children this is anchoring and this is how we show up in the transmissions we show up not with our begging bowl we show up in full faith that that we are the ground crew and what we say does go just like in covid every time that we did anything there was an instant shift because our intention is aligned with god's intention and this is, this is what they're most afraid of. So we're going to be addressing, clearing the timeline of the 15-minute um, the cities, the AKA concentration camps, that they're trying their luck at the moment to bring in. Um, we're going to be working with the trust timeline. So many of us have been really, really deeply betrayed. We've been betrayed by our families. We've been betrayed by our friends. We've been betrayed by our lovers and we've been betrayed by the government and, and the, the governmental structures. This is causing a, um, a huge detriment in the evolution of humanity. And so we're going to be doing a protocol to re-establish the trust timeline because as you trust, then you will manifest that which you trust. If we're locked into vibrations of mistrust, we are going to attract situations that are a mirror of that vibration. And so this is going to be an extraordinarily beautiful protocol for all of us that is going to enable us to really, really deeply manifest our destiny. So much of it is connected to trust. So we're going to be focusing on the anchoring the trust timeline individually and collectively. And then the final aspect of the transmission is we're going to be doing a massive protocol to anchor the Trinity. And this is where we source our spiritual power, brothers and sisters, by understanding the Trinity and anchoring ourselves within the Trinity framework. 
it's going to be amazing and I do hope that you get to read the article I wrote earlier about what people get from participating in the transmissions it is an extraordinary act of generosity on a spiritual level for you to become a spiritual heavyweight the transmissions are like going to the gym and I'm I'm a coach and I'm coaching you to become a spiritual heavyweight and that means that you are stabilized you are a stabilized lighthouse it means that no matter what wave life throws at you you are going to be able to stay on your surfboard and you are going to be able to masterfully and skillfully ride that wave and you're not going to collapse into drowning and doubt and overwhelm and identification with your thought forms you are going to always always be able to stay on your surfboard this is the whole entire purpose of the transmissions that is the intention of the transmissions is for you to become a master surfer because there are so many people in your reality that are have incarnated because of you quite frankly i'm just going to say it there are many many people at a lower evolutionary level and you promise to be the lighthouse for them you were like don't worry i'm going to stabilize i'm gonna i'm gonna remember i'm going to i'm going to become a spiritual heavyweight and in that you are going to be able to source your own liberation not through no one's we can't save anyone that's an illusion. No one can save anyone. We can be an example of one who has saved ourself. That's, that's what this is about. This is about stepping into the timeline of saving yourself and then you become a role model to, to people in your, in your um, life. That, oh wow, she saved herself. This is the roadmap, how I can save myself. Because we're coming out of the dark ages now, beloveds. We really, really are. This has been like probably like the worst dark ages that humanity has ever been in since the history of our world, since the story of our world. And so we 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 took took many, many sort of like attacks for the team. You know, it was it was a very, very brave of us to incarnate at this time. So it's very, very challenging. Even for stabilized people, it's very, very challenging. So imagine all those other people that are not at a that the same evolution evolutionary level as you is going to be so hard for them so they're relying on you they're relying on you so that's it really that's my message um thank you all so much for engaging and um sharing this this video and thank you everyone for uh, so many of you have booked onto the 33 transmission which starts in four hours eight minutes from now hello sharon hoffman Hello, Alison Devine. Hello, Lana. Hello, Deborah. Hello, beautiful Angela, Andrea, Jenny, Sheila, um, Simona, Laura, Linda. I've been boots on the ground protesting. Yeah, yeah. So protesting is like we have to understand when we say protesting that that is an adding a sort of like a fuel to the fire because this is a vibratory frequency universe and if a certain low low vibratory frequency is is sort of like being put out we have to overwhelm that frequency with a higher frequency of love of unity of awareness of enlightenment if we sort of like bring ourselves down to the level of fighting then that's just that's just perpetuating that timeline and I'm sure you know that I just wanted to say that for everyone it's not about fighting it's about unity because they get their power they the old controllers get their power from us all being in separation from each other and they've done a great job they've done a great job this English society it's so it's so separate and the only way often people come together is through shopping a completely and utterly secular activity you know people come together in the summer for festivals and stuff like that fair enough but they've, they've done a really great job at keeping us all um, individualized and so we have to come together there's no way we're going to get our world back truly so yeah this is an opportunity for you to um it might be time for you to start initiating your own ceremonies and you would have my full full support and if you need any guidance from that please let me know i will happily share with you um so i think that's it any any um any other comments that, thank you goddess thank you angela darling thank you for your courage oh, don't mention it 
So that's it, beautiful brothers and sisters. I'm so excited. I've woken up this morning. I've had such a shift. I feel like the energy is just exquisite. I've got so much clarity, so much energy. I was having quite a lot of aches and pains. I was just like feeling this like molasses energy. I feel like everything was like, oh my God, oh, I just can't, can't do anything. I've just got to like get through today. But it's like today is a completely different energy, guys. It's so sweet. The energy is so sweet and it's so clear and it's so beautiful. So I really hope that you're all having a beautiful day and, um, and that you're all going to come and join us. Come and be part of the ground crew. Um, that you're going to share this video, you're going to, you know, share these vibrations with your beautiful community, I'm going to upload it to YouTube, upload it to Instagram, uh, love you all, my Instagram family, thank you so much for your divine engagement, and, um, you know, and my YouTube family, it's just so beautiful, and I, I hope now that the energy shifted, that I'm going to be showing up a bit more, but I wasn't able to, I was just... I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I've been going through something. All I can say, it just felt like sticky molasses energetically and it feels like it's gone now. So I, I'm hoping now that I'm going to be able to soar forward um, with my dharma, sharing my beautiful offerings, writing more books, doing more courses, doing more containers possibly. Um, so who knows? Thank you, beautiful soul sister. I've struggled to get out of bed Yes, yes, Susan, it's, it's been really, really intense. So to everyone just tuning in now, such as Anne, please um, watch the whole of this video. It's, it's really, really powerful messages um, about this portal date. But this is a big one, guys. This is a beautiful one. And I'm so delighted to be with my divine spiritual family. So I'll just share one little video. Um, I'll share one little song before I go. I'm going to share a song from my album and I think, uh, which one shall I share? I'm going to share. Listen to our lotus flower, the heart to draw sounds. In the center of the lotus flower, the heart to draw sounds. Ganga. But I ain't a maharishanam, sharanam. Gangangana, but I ain't a maharishanam, sharanam, 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 sharanam,
yes beloved my album is going to be released soon charlie's working on the final little adjustments and it's going to be amazing and guess what i received guidance what i'm saying is in the center of center of the lotus flower the heart sutra sounds gang gang gana pataye namaha shara nam ganesha that means in the shelter of lord ganesha i find my spiritual protection ganesha is the elephant god that is associated with the removal of obstacles and so we chant to ganesha to assist us to remove obstacles any obstacles karmic obstacles um, toxins pollutants relationships financial obstacles any obstacles we invoke ganesha as a way to um to, to assist us to amplify our intention so my album's going to be released quite soon and i am going to be um doing i'm going to be promoting my album in churches because i'm not i don't want to go i'm not going to be sharing this sacred music in any sort of clubs or anything like that i'm going to be sharing this music in churches because what I received a download the other night and the download was that these massive churches and all these cathedrals, they were built to harness um, healing. They, they were built as healing chambers. OK, in the olden days, before the reset, we, we used to have these massive organs and stuff like that. And we used to have these massive bells and the whole community would stand under the bell and they, they would gong the bell and everyone would be put right on a, on a vibratory frequency level but this technology was stolen from humanity when the rockefellers when the jesuits all came into power because w they weren't able to um everyone was getting healed and so there was no profits for the pharma pharmaceutical companies and so the technology has been stolen from the churches but what my team said to me the other night is that we can still use our voice because the churches have the most incredible acoustics and so my spirit team was like jen you need to go and do a tour of, of many 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 churches and um and sing your your songs in these churches because the frequencies and the acoustics of the churches will amplify the healing vibrations that everyone that comes to the concert is going to experience a healing and i guess that's what new earth music is about like old school or old earth music is about entertainment new earth music is about music as medicine music that heals you music that restores you music that that adjusts your energetic frequency and connects it back to source energy and so that is the mission of my album is to be a healing medicine album and you don't have to be in a church you can just play it on a good speaker it's been produced by such a gifted producer like my roses track when charlie sent my roses track to me i just used to listen to it on repeat i was like i, I literally i would just play it for about three hours on repeat and it took me into the most extraordinary shamanic spaces and it was like it, it was like an ayahuasca journey it was it was like a medicine journey because the way he's done it the way he's he's layered the instruments like we're working with the kora the african kora the japanese flute we're working with tabla we're working with all these amazing instruments very 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 shamanic instruments and he's kind of like layered it all up that it breaks down the conscious mind and it starts accessing the, the subconscious mind and that's where all the healing is and so i found myself just becoming like a temple dancer and i i've i've sort of like embodied that aspect of my soul's consciousness whereby um I, I have been a temple dancer like you know and that's really really working with the shakti energy so this music is very very unusual i i've never i've never had a song like that where i've just played for three hours like on repeat 
you know um and i did that every single day in india i couldn't get enough of the roses track but all the tracks are going to be amazing so i'm really 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 excited about finishing the album i'm really really excited about sharing it with everyone i'm really excited about going and doing these amazing tours i can come to america i can do i can go and play in temples churches um if anyone's got any connections with temples and churches like in your country let me know and and i'll come and do it do an um a ceremonial gig there so really really excited about about um sharing my album it's called love songs to god it we're nearly there we're on the final stretch now and then it's good we're going to release it so and then who knows what's going to happen so yeah that there's the music and i'll, I'll probably share some more tracks from my album um, today on, on the Zoom when we all gather this evening for the 3-3 uh, three, three transmission. So I'm so delighted to be with so many of you. So many of you have booked on. Hello, beautiful Angela Clark. Please check your messages. I just messaged you. Um, can't wait to be with so many of you. It's going to be such an amazing ceremony. And um, yeah, I, I've just I've just woken up in in such an amazing space, and I really feel that we're all experiencing this massive shift in energy. It's been pretty heavy these last these opening months of um, yeah, it's been it's been pretty heavy these last opening months of 2023. But I think we're, I think it's going to get easier now. I think there's going to be a lot of magic and miracles coming our way. So Jasmine Teal Psalm says there are lots of spiritual communities and temples here in Colorado. Great. Well, get me over there, Jasmine. Let's um, if anyone wants to help me organize a little tour in your country, just let me know and I'll come and um, we can do it because, yeah, the world needs to um, be having this conversation and understanding that music is medicine. You know, music is not just for entertainment purposes. Music has been brought through to heal us and to restore us. So see you all on the 3-3 transmission. It's been an amazing video. I've loved it and I'm so grateful to all your comments, all your engagement. I love you all so much. I really, really hope and pray that I can show up much more for my community now that this sticky molasses business is is over and um and that we can really really you know get stuck into this conversation this beautiful beautiful enlightenment conversation and here's my divine friend jaxedema who i love very 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 much so jaxedema please contact me i'd love to come to um london to see you Thank you, Linda. Linda says, I'm sharing this everywhere. However, my messenger has not been working since yesterday. My messages have not been going. Oh, OK. Well, if anyone needs to email me, email me at cosmicgypsy33 at gmail.com. I'll put the link to email me just in case you can't get through to me on Messenger. That's it. So I just wanted to all just quickly show you my beautiful fire. And... Um, just yeah this this beautiful sacred space i just wanted to just show it to you all and this is where the transmission will be taking place yes please call me darling beautiful edema yay so thank you all so much for sharing this video sharing is caring and you never know who's going to be touched by this message so can't wait to be with you all in a few hours. I'm so excited. I'm going to get everything ready now. And um, yeah, let's do it. So namaste.